Jumping. It's a common movement option in video games, used to gain height, get away from danger, close gaps, etc. And in Smash Bros, it's used for all of those things, and for more, like using aerial attacks. In Smash, by default, you can jump by tapping up on the control stick, or pressing X or Y. Though typically, most people won't use the control stick to jump, because that sacrifices some control of your movement and your drift in midair. So usually people will opt for one of the two buttons. This means with a standard grip, your thumb is in charge of pressing the A button, pressing the B button, pressing the C stick, and pressing one of the jump buttons. So for example, with a standard grip, if you wanted to do a back air while moving forward with no sacrifice of drift, you would jump forward by pressing one of two jump buttons and then either use your palm to press the C stick or move your thumb extremely quickly down to the C stick to input your aerial. Having to travel with your thumb makes doing early aerials harder than they should be. Now consider what that looks like if you incorporate using a shine or wave shines after as one of the species. It's a lot of thumb movement. There's also actually a very little talked about technique in melee called frame one gravity, where if you input an aerial on the first airborne frame of jumping, your jump height is shortened and you can fast fall earlier, allowing for fast, lower hanging aerials. Having to have your thumb travel from jump to C stick for these is not only really difficult, but it's also inconsistent, which makes this option relatively inaccessible for those who play with standard grips and button layouts. You're not just pressing one button after the other by twitching two different fingers. You're pressing one input and trying to time your travel to the next input at the exact same rate every single time. Notice how on your left hand while playing, your thumb is always on the control stick and never leaves your movement to perform something else. Other than taunts I guess, but that's not really important. Ideally though, you should also never have to leave your jump button so that you can have full access to your movement at all times. This is really common across other competitive games. For example, in Fortnite, mapping other things like builds or edit keys to fingers that are used for movement is typically considered putting yourself at a disadvantage. This is where Z jumping comes in. You can constantly keep your pointer finger on Z and instead have your right thumb only have to manage the A button, the B button, and the C stick. You never have to sacrifice consistency in movement to do something else with this layout. Want to do an instant up air? Just move your thumb down to the C stick and press Z with your pointer finger, and you won't have to travel again from that hand position to do another aerial. Some players have taken up issues with Z jumping, and some want it bend. Why? Other than paying to have your controller modified or using a modified version of the game, there is no way to change controls in Melee. But there is this. This is the claw grip. It looks crazy, I know, but this grip gives you the benefits of Z-jumping on a regular controller on a vanilla version of Melee. This is how I personally played Smash for the past 10 years. I actually unintentionally learned claw when I was like 11 playing on Xbox. My hands were actually way too small at the time to be able to change weapons on Call of Duty. And I also wanted to be able to mash the run button and move at the same time on Grand Theft Auto. So I kinda came into competitive Smash Bros with an advantage. Is it considered a skill? Uh, maybe? I don't know. But I don't think it being considered a skill should contribute at all to the argument of banning Z-Jump. Outside of potential issues with hand health, I have personally always been a huge proponent of claw grip. Like, look how many frame 1 up airs I get in this clip using a claw grip. But anyways, I did a little digging, and I came across these codes for Slippy that actually let you try out Z-Jump, which I'll link in the description. And hey, while you're down there, if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button. So I figured what other better way to find out if Z-Jumping is broken than by trying it myself as a claw grip user. All right, so I have everything set up here. I'm hopping on Uncle Punch first. All right, let's try. All right, so we got Peach here. And if I click, this is jumping. I can do like run up up airs really easily. If I try like these kinds of run up up airs without claw, it's like I got to jump, travel down here, and then flick this up. Like look how hard this is for me to get like the the quick full hop up airs versus so just like look how much more chill this is versus so yeah this is z jumping definitely take a while to get used to but yeah i can wave dash with it too so if i if i jump then air dodge ledge dash i was really surprised i hit that it feels really intuitive to wave dash like this if i'm being honest because it's just whoop, one two one two all right, well, let's give it a try in game and let's see what happens here. All right, here we go. Jumping around, jumping around, bam. That was great, Tucker. Thanks, man. Hey, Editor Badmouth here. I'm not really saying or doing much while playing here, so I figured I'd jump in and just give a little perspective while you watch me screw around and get bodied for trying to learn to Z jump. So Zane stated in his tweet that he feels like Z-Jumping has more benefits than perma-claw grip at the top level. 
And while I'm not exactly top level, I'd say that I am a pretty technical fox player. I am not convinced that Z-jumping would have any more of a benefit than perma-claw gripping would. If anything, I think this trigger pull motion you have to do to slide off the Z-button feels less intuitive than the sort of flicking motion I do with perma-claw grip. Though I haven't tried Z-jumping with a tactile Z-mod or mouse click button mod. I am convinced though at this point that Z-jumping isn't a problem and most people should probably learn it. Playing Smash Bros without constant access to jump is hellish and I don't know how most of the player base has played like that for so long. That's all I got. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Later.